He sat in on countless legendary recordings. He was Sinatra's right-hand man, played with some of the biggest names in rock and roll. He was there at CBGB's in 77, the Sunset Strip in 81. He's been on tour since 1866, and he's still going strong today. His name is Jack. Hi, Gita. Hi. So my first most important question to you, and specifically as a gatherer and as a discerning heart viewer is, what to you is the most important quality of Dhruv Mystery's work? He has such a facility with the uh, material and uh, with form. As you can see here, that uh, it's it's a plate of steel, but and it's all of an identical size. But what he's done with the form, none of it is repeated. It's all tweaked, and it's so he has this obsessive ability to actually exploit to the maximum the form and the material. And uh, I think he also is one of the few. Uh, sculptors who understands three dimension. I mean, as you can see in the floor pieces, uh, the way they are structured, and uh, you actually get to view them from all around, and they're equally magical from uh, any angle, any perspective. The idea of things falling, like falling figure, all is actually almost opposite of something which would otherwise occupy space with his own presence and, and confidence. Uh, here there is a loss of that confidence and then the kind of and falls down. free fall. Right. And the same way the moment one sees all these things, there is something about <coughs> one can see. Luke's work has been shown all across the world. But I think one of the other problems that comes along with that is often people accuse of a certain stature of art to become museum art and not accessible to the people in that way. Do you think that still holds true, the fact that art is more accessible of this particular nature to people in that way? No, and because so. elitist in some way? I don't think so, because A, in this particular exhibition for instance, he has very deliberately tried to make, make it accessible to a wider audience of potential buyers, right. shall I say, uh, in terms of the scale mm -hmm. and uh, also in terms of the pricing. Right. And uh, I think they're extremely affordable and uh, look good, you know, I mean, this, the, in terms of the scale and the size. So I don't think that that is a valid uh, point at all because he is able to straddle both the museum aspect as well as more the sort of domestic right. aspect. That's very interesting. Every time you know, there are once you once you get into it, it allows us to read. Just the way we actually meet people, uh, as you can find them out on their own, on our own, with their games, on our own terms, we can read them the way we want to read them. But it is not that, the, uh, that, that we can alter that character, we can change them. We only have to change our perception in order to know better about something else.